We're gonna expand our palettes today. We're gonna expand them for the sixteenth <laughs> time. Yeah. But we've only done it sixteen times. Ep episode Every seven other tasting count. never. Or is episode no, it seven? No, counts. It this counts. is sixteen. Okay. We're on episode sixteen of Palette Expanders. Welcome. BC has brought a mead. I have. I have no idea what it is. It's bottle condition, so nice. don't don't shake oh, sorry, it up sorry, too sorry. much. I, I tried have, to drive I real have slow. Brought a mead, <laughs> and we don't know what we brought. The goal here is for us to hopefully identify what's mm -hmm. in each mm -hmm. bottle, but um, sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. Let's see if we get it today. I think you're gonna get this one today. I think you're gonna get mine. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Aww. I, wouldn't it be a first if we both got them at the same time? We've never got it wrong, so I mean, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right. All right. Here's what I brought on screen. BC has brought this thing on screen. Is there okay. a video for this one? Uh, there will be. Oh, nice. Uh, There's a video for this as well. Should be out in a month or so. Unreleased video, so you, have, you can't even know. Ooh. Oh, oh a, little, a little spill. Yeah, a little spill. <laughs> My bad. That's all good. All right. Just trying to keep from kicking up the sludge. Looks good. All right, BC's Sweet. is on my left. Mine is on my right. Same for BC. What do you want to start with? Do you want to start with yours since there's carbonation? Yeah, maybe we start, start with the bubbly. Start with the bubbly, as they say. Ooh, it smells dry. Mm. It's got some uh, um, orangey, zesty kind of on the nose. Okay. Maybe a little bit of bright floral side, but it's hard to smell because it's cold in carbonation sometimes. You'd think carbonation would always kick things out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But the cold makes it hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mine? Yeah, sniff yours. We got time. Sniff yours. Title of this episode. Sniff yours. <laughs> <laughs> this smells weird. I do smell honey. It smells a little bit chalky. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to describe. It smells... I don't, I don't know a good way of describing what chalky, chalky. smells like, but... Yeah, that's an interesting way. Like, I'm... pillowy and dry and... Mm. There's okay. like a... There's like a vanilla thing in there somewhere. Uh-huh. I get that, for sure. Yeah, okay. We definitely should start with yours, I think. Okay. I think it'll make more sense. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. It does have like a... Well, the ride on this is like, it goes from bright to that it's like dip down of like mm -hmm. warm, almost molasses -y vibe to me. That's interesting. But it's not really molasses. I think it's like a, I think it's whatever flavor combo is right here. It's just like peely, like a orange peely. I don't get like a super character, characteristic spice or anything like that necessarily mm -hmm. popping mm -hmm. here. It kind of reminds me of like a, a trad, um, like a light, mm -hmm. Orange blossomy, clover, not clover, eh, maybe lighter honey trad. I can't, yeah, I don't get any noticeable spice or anything. It's interesting. Okay. It is good. It's um, it's very crushable. It's very clean. I can't, but I can't wait to tell you what it is. I'm searching. Move, I'm moving on to yeah, yours. I'm searching. <laughs> I'm searching for other things, but I can't find, coming up to empty. Holy smokes, that's sweet. <laughs> yes, stark contrast from where yours was. Mmm. There's vanilla. There's some kind of spice in there. Like if I had to to guess, there's like a almost a slight cinnamon flavor in there, which I suppose could be from the honey. There are definitely honeys that mm -hmm. carry that. Sweet clover is one of those. Yeah, kind of warm spice flavor. Which I love it's, sweet clover. That's it's not really hitting me like a cinnamon stick. Like I'm not picking up tannin or burn. Mm -hmm. I'm not also picking up like fruit or anything like that. The honey's there. Um, there is, there's an astringency, I guess, mm. that as it breathes is, is kind of... It's odd, it's yeah. It's grabbing the middle of my tongue a little bit. And it's not something I expect, given that initial flavor. But then you exhale and you, it kind of sits on your tongue for a second, and then it grabs on. Yeah. I can see that. Interesting. Okay. I think yours... I'm, I'm picking up a little bit of like an apple perry kind of vibe fruit, but it doesn't feel like a super constant. Like I love the one time I made a pear hydromel, it was like lightly paired. It's mm -hmm. so like I'll put it. It's kind of got that essence where it's like this little fruitiness, mm -hmm. subtle fruitiness with, I mean, honey post fermentation is tricky depending on how vigorous your fermentation is. Hmm. 
Apple pear, that's where I'm at with that. Fruit, not really picking up a spice or anything like that. This feels like a, honestly it feels like a, more of a cider than anything. Mm -hmm. Like I have like a pear, a pear, what's it? Pear cider, pear, is it Perry? Is that Perry what it is? is a is a pear cider. Yeah. That's that's what I'm picking up. Okay. Not a ton of honey character. I'm I'm rolling with that. I'm going apple cider, Perry, some sort of okay. melding of the two, and or one of those. I honestly have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> um, the That'd honey flavor. The honey flavor is is prominent though. Mm -hmm. I can't account for whatever else is in there, which makes me want to like guess that this is one of your weird candy experiments but i'm not sure what candy i've never done any of this that's silly yeah right <laughs> um i'm just i'm not picking up a fruit i'm not picking up much of a spice beyond that little touch of cinnamon and there is like a i don't want to say caramel almost like a dulce de leche kind of there's a, a toast a warm toastiness mm -hmm, in here that's like interesting. a nutty kind of Yep. Not not burn or caramelized, but like a nutty honey kind of flavor. Honestly, I don't know. I'm going to say mystery candy traditional <laughs> okay. need something. We'll start with mine then. So this one should be near and dear to your heart as a company that you've represented on many occasions. This is the, from the Craft of Brew Mead Kit. Okay. I took, made the kit. Yeah, it's a cinnamon mead. I threw in a cinnamon stick. Okay. And so I made a traditional mead based off the kit, threw in the cinnamon stick, and for a week and a half or That's so. It's a very mellow cinnamon flavor. It is not in your face at mm -hmm. all. And that's it. I know, I'm glad no, I noticed it. No tannin, no anything <laughs> like that. It's just, I mean, I mean, whatever's in the kit is literally just followed verbatim the kit. Did, they, did they send you a honey? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the Midwest, yep. um, what's it's it's wild wildflower. Flower. I think yep. it's a wildflower. Yeah, it's got that, that honey does have some interesting notes. You picked up the cinnamon there too. Yeah, the cinnamon the cinnamon is the most prominent thing other than the honey flavor. But like I said, there's kind of a weird something else in there, which might just be youth. It might just yeah. be This is green. three months old, I want to say. And it's like probably ten and a half, so it's definitely. All right, what'd you bring? This is my session sizer. So you okay. nailed it. Okay. There is it's it's water, honey, and several pounds of chopped up apples. There's not apple juice. Yep. And so you're getting that light apple flavor, that crispness, that mm -hmm. kind of trad hydromel mm. body, but with a touch of apple in there. There's yep. a little bit of malic acid, to, I believe, to, to kind of bulk that up. I don't recall, but. The honey character presents more, because it's dry, presents more, no, I would say dry, dry and honey, because you, you bottle carved it. Yeah. You know. Um, more warm floral to me, not as much bright. Obviously, no sweetness necessarily mm -hmm. to to back that up. There's a, there's a little bit of erythritol in here to sweeten it up, but yeah. it's very very light handed. It's good. It's got yeah. It's very. It's like you could have a bunch of these because it's not super sweet. It's good. I could see this on a summer day, sitting at your pool, and you're like, I want to drink some. It's some crisp. Meat. It's good. Thanks. I like this. I think yeah. you should definitely post that video that you have created. <laughs> I will, eventually. <laughs> but you can just check out the book if you want yeah. the recipe or, now. Oh yeah, <laughs> better yet, learn how to make it. I do yeah. want to shout out your book because this is a new thing since last Palette Expanders. It's this true. is your true release. So VC has produced, wrote a book of mead. Uh, well, I want to say not just mead recipes, but you do go a little bit into, you talk about process. It's beginner yeah. friendly. The whole yeah. thing is supposed to be the kind of one-stop shop. It's a beginner guide that doesn't, it doesn't try to do any more than it does. It's about 120 pages, but we're not getting into like the history mm, or like yep. Norse gods <laughs> or any of that stuff. It's it's how to make meat. Right. So, yeah, and, and I gotta I gotta give you props because this recipe was inspired by you. Ooh. That 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 fresh chopped up apple mm -hmm. thing that you are, are is, so keen uh, on. I am all for it. It's inspired by you. Well. This is fun. Uh, we both brought I kinda things mix kind of them together, inspired, you know? inspired by each other. How, how fun little, was that? A little, little apple cinnamon? <laughs> BC, we did it. I think we did it this time. We both got it. We did both kind of get it. Yeah. That's 80%. We're pretty close. We're, We're pretty, pretty close on. <laughs> Way better than previous times. It's kind of nice with the cinnamon. Till episode 17, which is undetermined when that'll be. Maybe 2025. Eventually. 2025. We'll, we'll see you there. <laughs>